Hello everyone, and welcome back to my wildlife park to Dino World Let's Play. We are on part four, I believe. <laughs> I know I always say I believe, never for sure, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's four. And yeah, we're getting ready to hire a detective to help find our little dino buddy. So let's uh, read up on on what's going on in this one. <laughs> You have heard about a powerful earthquake in South America in the news. The ground is supposed to have opened up and moved about. Such events that throw up fossils onto the surface. This is your opportunity to open a new park, which can display dinosaurs which have never been seen before. You travel together with your savings and your scientist friend from Sweden to set up a new park here. Hopefully, you'll be able to make enough money for the detective's fees. Alright, so it looks like we're uh, going to be digging up some fossils. In the first phase of your brand new park, you need to consider very carefully just how you are going to present your new park. How are the paths going to run? Where are you going to place the enclosures? Where are you going to put the visitor facilities? Does the terrain need to be changed? And so on. Start with leveling the terrain somewhat. So right now we are going to jump in here and we are going to level some terrain so that uh, we can set up our park. So we will go for a plateau and we will make it bigger. Way, way bigger. Alright, let's level this out. Yep. We're just gonna level, because that makes it so much e Oh, That log's gonna have to be sold in order to uh, get that spot flat. Can I flatten this stuff? Yeah, that's cool. Cool beans, cool beans. Alright, so I have flattened out a large portion of land. And I also found this guy, so I started him up, the scientist. So he's gathering some genetic material. And now we've been prompted to, I believe, open the gate. And I have a big old itchy, itchy mosquito bite on my hand. Anyway, we need to open the building entrance. All right. Don't forget to investigate the fossils that have been brought up to the surface around here. While your park is in operation, you ought to be breeding new dinosaur types. All right, so we're gonna have to set up some exhibits and breed some dinos and whatnot. So we need one Ankylosaurus and one Paras... I can't even... Parasaurolophus? Parasaurolophus? I don't know. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's set up a, uh, an exhibit for them. Boom, 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 boom. We will add in an animal keeper right off the bat before we even add in the animals because we know we'll need it. Okay, and set them right onto this exhibit. Bam on. Oh, we should add in a water tower because that's a little important. A harvest worker so that we can uh, just harvest from um, lovely Mother Nature. Waiting on the baby dino. So that we can get the show on the road. It should be walking out that door any minute now. I picked door number two. Come on, really? <laughs> Feel like I've been waiting for forever. Here it comes, a baby dino. Yay! And it's so cute! Oh. We're in a hole. Oh, look at how cute it is! Look at our... Okay, let's put her in her exhibit before she gets into any trouble. What do you want? Little cutie butt. Forage food, scratch yourself, some mud. We will turn this dirt into mud. There. And... We will make sure that she has a place to scratch herself. Give a forage food container, because that would only be nice, just in case. Alrighty, so we can get rid of these notifications, and 
make... Why does it say I've bred two? Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to let this run for a minute and let my scientist gather up a bunch of genes and I'm going to make my customers happy with a view to observe and a place to drink. So, yeah, give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to get a male Ankylosaurus just to uh, make sure that this first one is happy. Look, you'll have a friend now. You happy? Yep. Yay! And now to set up our Parasaur, or the, the other dinosaur exhibit, we will get rid of these rocks because they're in my way. Bam! Alright, and for the fence. Sweet! Alright, and now gate. There we go. Now we add in, they'll definitely need water. Oh, wait, these ones might need swimming, but I guess we'll adjust that when, as we find out. Yep, they'll need to swim. So that, that should be good. Now let's add in a water creator thingy. Hopefully this will work great. I'm sure they'll need forage and fruit. All right, your engineers have come up with a cool attraction for the visitors, a jeep ride. By having gates on the fences, this lets the visitors get close up and be amazed by the animals. Furthermore, the jeep ride, as the other visitor facilities, will earn you additional income. Going from the jeep station, you can build the routes piece by piece with jeep rails. Don't forget to complete the rope by bringing it back to the station. Okay, I don't know how excited I am about that. Um, I may just do a little blip it thing, because, yeah, I don't really like the setup for the car. I don't like the car setup in this game. <laughs> I don't. Not one bit. Anyway, here is our, yeah, we'll call them duckies. <laughs> and forage food, fruit, and scratch. Okay, so we need a scratch thing in here and we will be good. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, I like the setup in Zoo Tycoon better. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt in this one and I don't want to argue with it, so let's see. Construct one Jeep station. Um, that would be in visitor stuff. Yeah, yep. Bam. Jeep station. Oh, I guess it needs to have the rails and everything. I wonder if that would work. You know what? We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> oh, this is terrible. We're just going to... They, yeah, they just al they always get stuck in the stupid gates and whatnot. It's really, really dumb. We'll go like that. And we'll go... Generally speaking, the more you offer the visitors, the more money you can get from them. An alternative income source is also the sale of animals that you breed in the park. Dinosaurs are pretty rare and therefore very valuable. It's down to you just how you would like to earn your money. Alright, so pretty much just, I, I need one million dollars. Okay. Fun. Alright, so, <clears throat> we have two ankylosaurs and three of the duckies, as we're calling them. And right now I am trying to make them happy so that they will uh, grow up and breed and make me a million dollars. So I'm just going to let this run and catch you guys when uh, I have mature adult dinosaurs, I guess. It says they sexually immature in about two years. Okay, so coolest thing ever. When the male turned one is when he changed color. Just thought I should share that with you guys. So yeah, he was the same color as the females all the way up until he turned one. He has one more year until he reaches maturity, though. So yeah, and the gr females are obviously growing at a slower rate, staying at a different size. That's really neat. I really like that. That's <laughs> that's totally cool in my book. All right, I will see you guys here again in about another year or so for these guys which will be a quick second for you. <laughs>
Okay, we are back with a bunch of mature dinosaurs. Now we are just going to wait until they mate and lay some eggs, and then we will sell those eggs and hopefully be on our way. I don't know though. I haven't made it past this part. So yeah, look at the growth spurts that they've gone through. Look at how much bigger they are now. It's crazy. They were so little. All right. Now we wait for eggs. Yay! All right, so our first ankylosaur is pregnant. And so yeah, we get to wait two months for her to finally lay an egg. Or two. Or two. Yeah, one to two eggs in about two months. See you guys then. All right. Oh. Er. Okay, so right as she went to lay the eggs, I, uh hit stop recording because I thought I wasn't recording yet. Anyway, we have some Ankylosaurus eggs to sell. Hey, pretty mama. What you doing? Okay, so these guys are taking a really long time to breed and whatnot. So I added in some raptors. Um, yeah, because they breed pretty fast. And I figured the more eggs we get pushing out, the better it'll be. So yeah, we're moving along. Slowly, but surely. <laughs> oh, this one's taking forever though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's just a lot of waiting that's cut out really. So that's why I'm adding in the, um, the raptors. I'm probably gonna make a uh, <clears throat> second female ankylosaur. Uh, just so that they have an opportunity to breed more. So, yeah. You know what? I'm going to do that for sure right now. We're going to set up for another female. And bam. She should be out here shortly. All right. And here is our new baby Ankylosaur. Don't got much else going on, really. So, I guess we just wait some more for more eggs. Yay! So much fun. So much fun. Alright, selling more eggs. Lots and lots more eggs. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how well this video is going to turn out just because of all the waiting segments in it. Um, but hey, it's a thing. So, whatever. Hopefully the next one We'll have a lot more, like, me doing things instead of just, uh, a lot of waiting. But we're getting there. We're almost there. A few more baby dino eggs. And, uh, we should be done. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Whoa, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, a few more eggs. Have we made it? Is that it? Yay! All right, congratulations. Your first complete owner design park is running like clockwork. No one else offers as much as you. Visitors are streaming into your doors and droves from all over the world to see these unique prehistoric creatures. Your hard work has paid off. Now take a look at that heap of cash. Now let's hope that the detective is as good as Jim Hammond says. And fingers crossed that he finds your little dino friend at last. All right, guys, we're going to call that a video. I will see you guys in part five. Take care. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>